Hello, CPA ninth graders, and welcome to the 10th episode of Tiger News, news for the students by their favorite math teacher. Let's jump right into your agenda for the day as we're coming back off of this kind of four day break from learning. In math, it is recommended that you work through the Tuesday notes and homework, which include information on multiplying rational expressions. So multiplying fractions that include polynomials. So you will definitely be using that power rule today. In history, you're going to begin looking at pandemics throughout history, much like the one that we are currently living in. In mixed genre, you're moving into your personal essays. And I actually have written a personal essay that you can enjoy as well. Miss CB should be posting more information about that. Remember the complete attendance for each class. That question is what your teachers are going to when they're marking you either present or not, and that you are also expected to check into your electives. Office hours today include Miss Bowman. I'm actually the only one. I don't know why I went into that. Uh, you can chat with me from 2 to 3 p.m. in a Google Hangout, which will be uh, the link of which will be posted in our Google Classroom. To my favorite. Uh, I cannot talk today. It's four days of not doing this, I guess. To my favorite segment of the day, questions from the crowd. Brianna asks, if you could transform yourself into any mythical creature, what would it be? I thought it would be funny if I didn't decide what I would be uh, before filming this, but I'm not quite sure what is or is not a mythical creature. I could be a gnome. Is a gnome a mythical creature? No. I could be a, I could be a dragon. Dragons are definitely mythical. I will be a dragon. Uh, very specifically, I will be the, the math dragon. So uh, beware if you don't turn in your homework, I guess. Uh, from Simone. Simone says, are you happy about not going back to school this year? Uh, I really had hoped that the answer to this would be very, very obvious. Um, absolutely not. No, I am not happy that we are not going back to school this year. I make this little video thing um, because I want to be closer and I want to connect with you. And nothing would be better than actually getting to be in the classroom with you. Uh, so no, I'm not happy. But I am happy that we've been able to continue um, in this way when it kind of feels like we're living in a world where maybe education would have come to a stop. Um, I'm happy that we've still been able to communicate. But no, I'm not happy. But I am dealing. Uh, our quote of the day comes from Yua. And Yua says, a good teacher is like a candle. It consumes itself to light the way for others. I tried to find the source on this quote. And I guess it's actually a pretty big debate about who first said this. So I don't have a source. So instead, we're just going to pretend that Yua came up with this very deep quote, Yua. I included the picture of me because I didn't know what else to include on this slide. Um, I've had many, many good teachers throughout my education, and I can honestly say that they lit the way for me to become the teacher I am now and the person I am now. And I would not see the success that I see now uh, had it not been for them leading me here. And on that note, I think we should talk about, you know, the big news. It's Teacher Appreciation Day today. Um, and week, all week. So sending some love to past and present teachers. Reach out. They care about you. They want to hear from you. They have not forgotten you. If it's a past teacher, as a current teacher, I can honestly say I haven't forgotten about any of you either. Um, but all week, I will be sending out emails and shouting out past and present teachers for me. Uh, and today I wanted to share just a little bit with you about one of the first teachers that really made a big impact on my life. And that's Mr. Anderson. So the teachers that have taught your teacher, um, me being your teacher, these people being my teacher. Uh, Mr. Anderson was my base camp and my 1112 English teacher. So base camp is kind of like ethics, except instead of having two different ethics teachers, since you'll have the same for ninth and 10th grade, and then a different for 11th and 12th. I was with Mr. Anderson for all four years. So from freshman year, all the way until 
my, uh, my senior year. And honestly, being in his base camp is some of the best memories I have. Um, he was so kind. He helped start my love for poetry. Um, and I just always felt so comfortable in his classroom, the way that I try to hopefully and maybe succeed, make you feel in mine. He just had this calm energy that could calm even my craziest days. And there were some pretty crazy days. There were more than one time where I somehow ended up on the floor in his base camp. Don't ask how it happened. I don't know. Um, on that note, Mr. Anderson, I really don't remember anything that you taught me. Um, but I remember that you cared about me. And that means a lot. Um, as someone that hasn't been in high school now for five or six years, um, six years, because I graduated in 2014. Uh, yeah, it's just, ooh. A uh, fun fact, a side note, is that for the first year of my high school, uh, I got to call all of my teachers by their first name. So all the times that you try to make jokes and you're like, Krissa, uh, instead of calling me Miss Bowman, I actually got to call Mr. Uh, Mr. Anderson Ted. And it was very strange switching from Ted to Mr. Anderson. Um, now I think I'm old enough to call him Ted, but I'm not going to test my luck. Anyways, uh, join me in thanking and emailing and calling out some teachers from your past and your present that have helped you become the person that you are today. I'll be doing this all week, so you're gonna hear about more teachers from my past, and you might even see more funny pictures of me. I think that this was either my freshman year or my sophomore year of high school. Uh, this is Mr. Anderson right there, and this is me. And I stole this right from my yearbook, so as you can see, I wrote a little, uh, some hearts there, a little comment that said base camp, uh, because it was my base camp. With that, uh, I want to remind you to stay safe, stay smiling, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Enjoy this picture of me at a Knowledge Bowl competition in which I am wearing a little dress and a red polka dot tie for some reason. And yes, you can see it. That is my hair. And yes, it was bright red and orange. All right, guys, I will talk more at you later. Bye. Mm-hmm.